Yeah, um, I think if we even look at um, how our um, cities or our towns are run, um, I think in most of our you know communities, you cannot just go in there and then sometimes you know just by entering a, a town, people know that you are a, you are an outsider, like you're not from that you know community right people can easily make you out and so what it means is that we should use the people in the communities as you know the policing officers on this matter um we have chiefs we have district chief executives we have assemblymen we have mps right and so um deploying this 200 military men after let's say um, seizing some excavators and stopping the issue intermittently, what next? The military deployed are not going to be in these communities forever, right? So that means that the people in their communities must be empowered to safeguard their lands and their water bodies. And the, 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 the chiefs who under whose jurisdiction all of these things are happening, also must be held accountable, you know, with respect to even the district chief executives and even the MPs. So just to clarify, Doc, very quickly, when you issue, say when if, you if say we push the issue to a place where we know that okay, for this district or for this area, these are the people in charge. And so for anything, we we are holding them accountable to it. Then we 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 can at least think of getting somewhere than you know waiting for the central government to deploy military people okay. once a year right. or twice a year.